When I talk to my colleagues about surgical issues, iris expansion, uh, issues come up. There are so many options available. Uh, I recommend this product because I found it to be reliable and perform as expected uh, in the eye. It's simple to use for the operating room staff. The, uh, the loading and the insertion are all straightforward. As you can see, we have posterior synechia attached to the anterior lens surface. You may also be able to appreciate that there is some zonular instability as the iris and the lens are moving somewhat independently with these uh, minimal manipulations. Fiscal elastic is used to break most of the adhesions between the iris and the lens capsule. Once all the posterior synechia have been ruptured, the pupil is ready for the uh, iris expansion device. Here you can see the injector going through the 2.4 millimeter corneal incision. The plunger is advanced and the ring is engaged first at the opposite side of the iris. As the ring deploys, one lateral foot followed by the other are engaged. I found it very easy to get all three of these feet placed at, at the initial deployment. The last foot has to be engaged with the second instrument. Most common hook, hook instruments will suffice. And you can see that there's minimal iris stretching when that fourth foot is placed. The case proceeds without any further interference from the iris, which is retracted out of the way. You can see how manipulations of the instrumentation are easy because the iris ring is out of the way. The main incision is right over one of the feet and the elevated portions of the ring are not disturbed by the forceps or phaco emulsification instruments. After removal of the lens material, the IOL can be placed as normal through the same 2.4 millimeter incision. Once it's secure in the capsular bag, the iris ring can be disengaged and removed. As promised, this video shows one technique to remove the iris ring with the injector. The subincisional foot is disengaged from the iris and elevated into the mid anterior chamber where it can be grasped by the injector. Once all four feet have been freed up from the iris, the device is positioned for removal. That foot is positioned immediately in front of the main corneal incision where it is easily grasped by the injector. For proper folding, it's important not to grasp the ring too far down the injector or at the tip, but in the center of the uh, injector device. Once it's in the proper position, the plunger is retracted, the ring collapses into the in uh, injector. The second instrument here is used to ensure that the ring stays in a planar configuration and does not move anteriorly or posteriorly as it retracts, avoiding any iris or cornea trauma. So as that case demonstrates, the ring provides an excellent retraction of the iris. It leaves the iris undisturbed. There is no uh, excessive traction on the iris root. Uh, the pupil margin is maintained and uh, can resume its round, normal round physiologic configuration. Uh, the device is very easy to use, it's intuitive, and it has a very short learning curve.